Hello there, my name's Maria, and you're watching the all new show, Sound of the Future. This is your bite-sized, yet hugely informing entertainment show that brings you a sneak peek of things to come. It's a place where future stars and those destined for great things get the chance to have the spotlight all to themselves. And let's not forget one thing, I'll be here. So we can't guarantee that, can we? But I'll give it a try. On the show today, we'll be joining the young British comedian who's throwing a very high popularity charts across the UK and beyond. And today, you'll have the chance to get up close and very personal with a self-proclaimed local comedy pharmacist. Yep, you guessed it, Mr. Eddie Caddy. And later on, it's off to the streets of London where we search and search to find your answers to this week's big question. But first, it's time to head over to Seven Sisters in London where we had a very intriguing chat with the one and only Mr. Eddie Caddy. We're going to play a very quick game, where really you are. Um, you have five seconds to answer five questions and um, nothing bad will happen to you if you don't answer five. Um, I won't drop any green guns with Nothing you. bad will happen to me, yeah? No, not at sure? all. Apart from the fact that everyone at home would just think you're very slow and that oh, you can't handle pressure. No and we don't want that. Okay, cool. Right. Okay, so five questions, breathe in. You ready? Is this like a quiz? Yeah. Oh, kind of. Like, okay. <sighs> like general knowledge. <laughs> I'm not giving you anything away, just wait. My hand is a stopwatch, and by the time you see a fist, it means time's up, okay? okay? Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Nick Clegg or David Cameron? None. Nick Clegg. The prettiest woman on television? Uh, I can't think. Yeah, I just saw too many women. Richard Blackwood or Lenny Henry? Richard Blackwood, because I know him. Okay, time's well. up, time's up, sorry. Nigeria or Ghana? Oh, nah, Ghana. <laughs> you did that on purpose. How dare you? <laughs> you, you noticed I didn't even mention Congo. Oh, yeah, well, you don't. Lastly, Notorious B.I.G. or Tupac? B.I.G. I listen to him a lot more. Okay, yeah, that was a bit random, but I didn't know. Did so, you? Oh. My show, why not? But, that's been fantastic. Thank you very much for joining Thank us you. today. So we're out on the streets of central London to gather some answers. But to what, I hear you say. No, I'm not crazy, although some people say I am. But that's for another show. We're here to talk about something that's taken over British airwaves in recent years. Something that's a bit like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. And for some weird reason, we find ourselves talking about Cheryl Cole's outfits at the end of every show. But who cares? But yet, you've guessed it, The X Factor. So X Factor Fever is sure to hit us all in full force as the seventh season approaches us again in the next few months. But before the overwhelmingly successful show graces our TV screens again this year, I'm here to ask you that one very obvious question. Is X Factor really a place for true talent to shine? Let's find out what you think. Well, maybe not all of them. That little Scots guy who won a couple of years ago, he certainly didn't do anything since, did he? Hey. <laughs> that comes up quite a lot. I, I think no one... But that proves my point. I personally think it's not a place for um, yeah. stars to shine. I mean, we've had Jedward, got a record deal, made a lot of money for no reason. I mean, what do you think of that? Well, I don't know. You know, people have got to have a chance. To make money, people have got to buy the records, haven't they? So somebody must think they're good. Yeah, I mean, I love them. Yeah, I mean, I've, loved them. I've met them before. They're lovely guys. We even had the same hairstyle once upon a time. But I just feel it's just not fair. Some people are at home really, really trying to break through and then, you know, you've got Jedward who go on there and, hey. Yeah, yeah, but person. that was just a sort of freak factor, wasn't it, that caught everybody's attention. <laughs> Let's be honest, they should have been voted off right at the beginning, shouldn't they? Um, I think it is a place for true talent to show themselves, but as for to shine, like, as in to get a record deal, get towards a good part of X Factor, I don't think so. Do you see? Um, yeah, I sing. I actually auditioned for X Factor once and I got rejected. <laughs> Again, proving my point. Did they give you a reason? Um, no, when you sing, you just sing and they say no or yes and they don't give you a reason. They're not allowed to. What was it like? Did you have Simon Cowell looking at you saying no? Uh, it was before that section, actually. You just get a lot of executive producers. It's before you see like the Simon Cowells and the Cheryl Coles. You get executive producers, you sing to them and if they say no, then they say no. So, X Factor's a lie then, really. But I thought you, I thought the auditionees walked in, you had Simon Cowell looking at your face saying, you're rubbish, get out. So it wasn't like that at all. You have to go through, as I think it's two or maybe three auditions before you get to see them. So all the people that can't sing, the rubbish ones that we laugh at, they've already been for an audition before. Wow, so Je that means Jedward had already went through an audition before they made it. Oh yes, they had already been through loads of auditions before they made it. 
Sadly, we've now come to the end of the show, which means you won't get to see my face for a while. But hey, on a more important note, we did bring you a special sound of the future. And on that note, I want to thank Eddie Caddy for joining us and keeping us laughing all through today. And of course to you for joining us and sharing your thoughts on today's big question. But for now, that's all. I'll see you again next week for more sounds of the future. Take care.